Hi everyone, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be telling you guys some things that you need to know before you go to college. I have them written on my phone. I just wrote down about 10 things that I think are the most important things that you need to know before you start your freshman year. I personally was looking up a bunch of videos like this and if you're watching this, I'm sure you did the same thing. We don't know what to expect when we go to college. We wanna know as much as we can. You want to know as much as you can before you get to college so that you're not figuring everything out there when you're there. So the first thing I wrote down is is to save your money. You will be spending more than you think you will, which is why everyone says save your money for college, you're gonna go broke, like you need to save your money. If you've already started that, great. You are gonna be spending more than you expect yourself to, whether you believe that or not. Things like just eating out, you're not gonna wanna have dining hall food every single day, so you're gonna eat out a lot, you're gonna order DoorDash or whatever. You're gonna possibly be buying new clothes, getting your own groceries, paying for textbook, like just so many things like you need to save your money because it goes like, really, I'm not, I don't like to snap, but it goes really fast here. <laughs> also, I feel like everyone says this, but I really just wanted to emphasize this again. Please just be aware that you are going to lose a lot of friends from high school. Everyone says that not all your high school friends last and a lot of times we don't like to believe that because people who we think to be our very best friends, we're never gonna lose them. Trust me, I hate to say it, but like you are gonna lose those people. Maybe not every single one, but it's crazy how just like fast friendships change once you go from high school to college. I never wanted to believe that. It's not easy to hear. There were people I thought I was gonna be friends with forever and I'm just not anymore. And it's not because nothing, it's not because anything went wrong. It's just that the distance, the change, everyone's going their own separate ways. Everyone's like learning who they are in a different environment. It's not even just like lack of communication because we're not seeing each other. It's everyone is just becoming someone different and that sounds very bad but people really learn who they are in college and are changing themselves to fit into a whole new environment that is not high school anymore so a lot of the people you were friends with in high school you won't necessarily get along with in college even just like online because it's so different so just be aware of that it's really really hard in the beginning but once you kind of start to learn that that's just life and it happens you know, lose friends and you're in a new place where you can make new friends it's not as hard as time goes on but just be aware even like right after graduation i saw a shift in friendships i was like whoa it happens okay number three i want to let you know that every college exam is like a high school midterm i know that might sound really overwhelming at first it kind of is at first every college exam is like a high school midterm which means that every college midterm is like a high school final which is really intense and the reason for this is because you're going over material in college a lot quicker than you do in high school you know in high school you got class five days a week you're there for nine months to learn the course but in college you only have a certain class a couple times a week and you're learning it in four months so you go through material very very fast and that means that the exams are not just on one unit they are on a few at a time which is like what a high school midterm is I know that can be very overwhelming for you right now when you first start to college the pace will be a very overwhelming for you because it's not like high school at all you could learn two units it's in one class and that's a lot but you do eventually get used to it just be aware that when you first start it could seem very scary and that sort of leads me into my next thing number four is to make sure you study I know you probably want to click out of this video now because anytime anyone hears anything about studying you don't want to listen especially if you're still in high school you probably don't study as much as you think you do if at all but in college you have to study you have to. Don't even think that you can get through college without studying. It's not going to happen. With, again, how fast-paced the course goes and how much stuff is on, a, on an exam, you can't just think you have it all. It's a lot of information in one test. It's not like high school where your high school teacher will give you a study guide. You don't get that in college. At least I haven't, but I haven't heard anyone get a study guide. It's really up to you. And also another tricky thing is that you just don't know how each professor does their test because everyone does them differently. So how you are tested and what sort of questions you get, you won't really find out until you take the test, unfortunately. Make sure you study your notes, take notes. You will not get through college if you don't study. And I need to work on this myself too, but I guess another thing I'll just add in here quick is to make sure you give yourself time to study. You cannot finally decide to study the night before the exam. It's not, it's not gonna happen. Also, be aware that when you get to college, you're gonna notice that you have way more time than you did in high school. At first, you're probably like, yeah! Yes, 
more time like of course we all love more time but this can be both a good and a bad thing and the reason why is because it can be a good thing because you have more time to get your stuff done a lot of times when we're in high school we got school seven to three or something and then we got sports after and then sometimes work and then maybe concerts or games or whatever and we feel like we just don't have enough time to then do our homework or study but in college it's not like that sure you can be involved in sports sure you can uh, you know have games and classes but it's not like a seven to three sort of deal unless you really pack your classes like that but it's not structured like high school where you have to be to school by seven or something and then it ends at three it's not like that you can have a class at 10 and then your other one at two and then it's a couple classes a day usually especially when you're first starting out usually you're not taking like 10 classes um, you're usually just taking a few at a time so you find yourself having more time and then when you get to college College, most people aren't automatically on a sports team when they get there so they don't usually have that added on at first so they just find themselves with so much time and that's great you can do things you can hang out with friends you can party you can do what you want to do but this is a bad thing because it can also lead to procrastination having more time gives you more time to procrastinate it's easy to push things off the next day studying whatever homework you're like oh I got time tomorrow I got time later I can do it in a few hours yes that's right you can you have the time to do that but try not to get in the habit of doing that too much because that will just make your procrastination a lot worse and I do struggle with this. I struggle when I have a lot of time to do something because while it seems great in the grand scheme of things, it's not. I procrastinate more so just be aware that you're going to find yourself like what, what do I do in my time? What do I do? And just be careful about that. Also, because you have more time, do not join a million different clubs or sports at once when you first get there. If you are someone who likes to keep yourself busy and you find yourself having all this time with nothing to do, it's going to be very easy for you to start joining all these clubs and all these sports to fill that gap of time but you're also going to need some time for a job because you have to pay for college so you're going to need time for work as well i'm sorry if you just heard someone slam their door love filming in a college dorm just be careful with how much you are filling in the time gaps because even though you may have a lot of time to do those things it may seem like you don't want to pile so many things on that you eventually have no time you don't want to do that to yourself so it's really all about just figuring things out figuring out how your schedule works your procrastination level like if you're very productive you get your stuff done right away just kind of figure it out depending on you how you work and go from there this could kind of go hand in hand with the whole studying thing i mentioned but know that finals week is very intense very very intense so you want to make sure from the get-go that you're attending your classes you're taking notes you're asking questions you do not want to just push things off if you're confused about something say you'll ask later by the time you ask, you're not your professor's not even going to be worrying about that anymore. They'll be like, we talked about that last week. And unless you go to office hours or tutoring or whatever, I guess that's different. But make sure you're getting just like on your stuff because once finals week comes, you're not going to be wanting to try to figure something out that happened months ago or was talked about months ago because by that point, you're just going to be worrying about the whole test as a whole. I mean, it's fine to like try to study something, something you're struggling on. I'm not trying to word it like that. I'm just saying that you want to stay on top the entire semester so that by the time finals week comes up, you're on top of things. You're not worrying about about catching up because finals week as a whole is really intense you just want to be worrying about studying for your test and not trying to get caught up on all this back work that's sort of what I meant by that it's very intense it is not like high school finals no it, it's intense that week we all just want to cry so welcome to the club <laughs> okay real quick i just want to talk about dorm life for a second if you do plan to be in a college dorm i guess i can only really speak for my school but i'm sure every school has this issue so fire alarms it's not like high school where you go back home and you don't have to worry about fire alarms or your living situation you're at home you're in a college dorm it's school property you are going to have fire drills you could be showering when the fire drill happens you could be sleeping you could be getting dressed i mean just you're living you're living in the fire drill the fire alarm could go off now they will tell you like hey we're gonna have a morning and a night drill every semester that's what my school does you don't know when they will be though exactly they won't tell you like monday at 9 p.m but you'll sort of have an idea like okay our morning one is done now and i will have a night one but then once the drills are done you never know when you could have a real one so again you could be showering you could be sleeping any anything like that you could be just living and breathing studying all quietly whatever and the fire alarm could go off you may think kaylee okay that's obvious we would have known that but one thing you may not know is that anything can set the fire alarm off if you take too long of a shower and it starts steaming that's gonna set the 
alarm off. If you blow dry your hair near the smoke alarm, that will make it go off because it's not even just smoke, it's particles that set it off. If you spray perfume near it, it'll go off. Windex, air freshener, anything near it, it will go off. So you have to be very careful when you are in your dorm to not set anything off that you don't want to. And you'll have those students who uh, burn their popcorn and then you gotta stand outside for half an hour so that the fire people can fix that. But that's really the, one of the only downfalls about dorm life is having to deal with the fire alarms because they happen at the most inconvenient times. My second to last thing, if you are someone who's going to a college really far away or even just a college where you know you're just not gonna be home for a while, maybe not even until like Thanksgiving break or so, know that you will forget what it's like to be at home because you're gonna get so used to being independent on your own, making your own decisions and not having an adult like leaping over you the whole time. But when you get back home, you're, you're gonna be in that like kid, teenager phase again where you can't make your own decisions, you're not the adult in the room and if you're, if you're at college for three months or something and you get so used to that going back can be really really tricky I actually do go home on the weekends so it's not this huge like thing for me I, I'm very used to it I adjust but I do remember I was only at college for a couple weeks when I first moved in my freshman year if you don't know I'm a sophomore now but when I moved in my freshman year and I was there for two weeks I adjusted very quickly to college and being so independent that when I got home at first it was a little weird not being so independent anymore so just be aware of that but I can only really imagine how more difficult it would be being in college for months not being home and then going back home and it's like whoa I'm not the adult anymore just know that keep that in mind and the last thing for when you are packing for college don't pack all of your clothes right away I guess unless you're under certain circumstances, but what I mean is if you're going to a college where you know that the first maybe month or so, you will not be really wearing pants because it might be warm, you know, summer still, just bring more of your summer clothes. Sure, maybe bring a couple pairs of pants if there's ever like a if there's ever a weird day where it is kind of chilly. But if you are someone who likes to wear a lot of shorts in the summer, I know people actually do like to wear pants in the summer. I don't know. It really kind of depends on you. But you don't need to pack everything right away. Like you don't need your winter coat right away unless you're going to a school that's really cold in August. I don't know. Again, depending on like which school you're going to, what the weather would be like there. Kind of plan accordingly. <laughs> I'm saying my words so weird accordingly because you, you just don't need everything at once the only exception to this really would be if you're going to a school that's so far away that you just really will not be home until the semester's like over in that case you might need to bring everything right away so that you have it there but if you know that you have the ability to get home once you need to start adjusting your clothes like then you could um also just real quick don't think you're gonna just change your style as soon as you go to college don't start buying all these new clothes you're not used to wearing because you just you just don't know i would recommend just bringing the clothes that you know you wear a lot and then um once you get to college you can kind of see oh okay i want to adjust my style uh, but don't start buying all these new clothes that you just don't wear style wise until like you're in college you could go to a store and like go there once you already moved in does that make any sense just pack the clothes that you know you're gonna wear but that is all I have for you guys today I hope this video helped you I hope you got something out of it if you did give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this I could possibly even do a part two for you guys maybe in the summer once people are starting to really prepare for college I'd be more than happy to do that for you make sure you turn on the post notification bell as well so you get notified when a new video goes up and with that being said i will see you all in my next one bye guys